Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, I am going to be talking about um, my new Knitter's Pride um, set of interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks. Okay, so um, I'm gonna quick open it up and show you what it looks like. I do have a hook missing that I'm currently using, but I thought I would keep that out. So when you get it, you'll open it up. It is this beautiful, it's a wooden set that I ordered. This is Knitter's Pride. Um, down here are um, some latches, some hooks, and I'll show you that is a feature on the other side. So this main part here are the hooks. On this side is a little pocket um, that lists, or that has all of the goodies in it. Now. I haven't unwrapped all the goodies, but I have been using it. Now, I actually feel a little, I am going to read to you what comes in this set. This actually comes on it, um, but I have gotten to the point now where I can't read little writing anymore. Okay, so in it, it has size US EFG7, HIJKLMN, and 12.0 hooks. Um, if I go by the metric, even though it does have that letter on it, basically it has 3.5 millimeter, 375, 4.75, 4.5, I mean, 5, 5.5, all the way up really until 10, and then they jump to 11. Also, you have four cords, and I'm going to show you those. There is the 24 inch cord, a 32 inch cord, two. 40 inch cords and eight end caps for cord keys and one set of cord connectors. Then also one of the features of here is there's a magnet bar that you can hold your patterns. And then there's 24 stitch markers and then also a cute, well, kind of cute if this is your jam, wooden pen. Um, so it's like this, it's sturdy, it's firm. It feels like a good quality pen. Doesn't feel flimsy. Okay, so first I will show you these parts. Okay, so this is, well, you know what? Currently I'm using the shortest cord, the um, 24 inch, I believe. That's what I'm, I'm using the shortest one. Here's one of the longer ones. Here are the ends that they have for twisting. If you can see, there's little screw ends. They're, um, you know, what's that called? They're screws. And what you do is you take your crochet hook that also has the other end. They're very nicely labeled right here on the, the metal end, what size it is. It's not engraved into the actual hook and you just twist this in here. Now, typically, when I've been using it so far, I've been able to twist firm enough that it is fine. But one of the things that they have in here, I just thought I would show you, is they do have a lock key. Now, it doesn't look at all like what I thought a key would be, so if you're gonna buy one of these, make sure you use you see. It looks like this. And you put this little end in it and you use this to give yourself leverage to tighten it. Okay, so you will have a bunch of these. And you know what, personally, I think that's a really great thing because you can then just put them in like, for instance, I got this at my fiber yarn shop in here. I have a few stitch markers, a set of amigurumi eyes, a little scissor, and you can take one of these little keys and pop them. I'm sure you all have a couple of things like this, like I do and pop one in here. Or um, when I'm using my other set, there's a little pocket here and you could put one in there or whatever, but there's four of them. You can either keep them all together in your Tunisian set or you can spread them out so that wherever you go, you've got one. The other thing, which at first I wasn't 100% sure what it was because I've had very little experience with the interchangeable, um, my knitting needles are all regular circulars. I don't have an interchangeable set. But one of the things about Tunisian crochet 
is that you don't have a hook on the other side. You put on this little nubby, this little flat disc. So as you're, if you're crocheting a giant Tunisian baby blanket or whatnot, your work, just like knitting, will hang all across this cord and this will be your blocker. Now, a while ago, I got this from Knit Crate. Here, this one is not interchangeable. It comes with the set on it. It is a J or six millimeter. And then it has this little cord. And then here on there, they just put a block, a circular block. Okay, so that's what they have on that. And so the cool thing about this is you can either put this block on it and then your work will be, won't fall off the end. Or the other thing that they have are connectors so that you can take this and screw this little guy, because remember it's all part of a screw system, and you can connect it to a linking part. Okay, and you're like, what's that? It's right here in this little bag of treats they give you. I'm gonna take all of my stuff out of these treat bags and put them in a little better one, because I can't keep fiddling with these. You're gonna rip them. So what they have here is if you're making a super long brace uh, blanket, you can put this little, here's this little jobby, see that? You can put your end in one side, okay? So what I've got here, you can use your key there. I've got my Tunisian hook. I've got my cord connected to that. I then just screwed the end of my cord into this little jobby. It's a connector. And then you can take another one of these and twist, screw it in. Now you've got a super long cord because maybe you're making a blanket for your big kid to put on their bed, right? And then, see that? Look at that, you guys. Look how long that is. And then you can put the end cap on the end when you have the desired length. So that's a cool thing about Tunisian. Now you can do a really long Tunisian style. Okay. Um, so those are the pieces that you get. There are the end caps and I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I have one on my work right now that I'm working on trying to get this off so I can show you. Looks like a flat disc with a little screw jobby. And then you get, grand total, I have all together four of these little different sized cords, right? I'm trying to unscrew them. So I have two that are the same size here, one really long one, and then like I said before, I have my short one on my project. You also have four of those keys, and you have two of these little silver tubes connectors. Now, you're not gonna wanna lose those, but from what I was reading online, depending if you have a Knitter's Pride dealer, now I know that my Tori at Fiber, she sells some Knitter's Pride products. Hobby Lobby sells some Knitter's Pride products, but I'm gonna tell you what, y'all, I bought this full set off of Amazon, so you can buy Knitter Pride products off to Amazon. And so they have these little cords. Um, they have these little cords for sale also. Okay, so I'm going to quick pop these in my little bag here so that they don't pop out because I'm going to try really hard to keep this stuff together as a set. Here are the stitch markers. Nothing fancy, honestly, just a bunch of different colors. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to say about this set that I've really been loving, although I will tell you I've only done one project with it. Um, and in this project, it's had two types of stitches. Um, it is the regular, simple Tunisian stitch. In fact, I have it right back here for you. Okay, and I'm gonna have to move it because this project is using two skeins of yarn. I will tell you, what I am loving about Tunisian is that changing between colors for different rows blends so nicely. And so for this project, you do a row of Tunisian simple stitch and then you pull it right back on the way because Tunisian's crochet is two rows together. 
Then the next stitch that you need to do with here is a front post Tunisian double crochet. And what I really like about this set of Knitter Prides is you see how pointy that end is? And that's been really nice because when I have to go in here to get my front post, I kind of have to dig for part of it. I gotta put that little bit in there. And this set has been very nice. See, actually, I have, I just finished off the row. I'm about ready to finish. Um, this set has been really nice because the tips are just perfect for that little digging, that little, little digging part that you have to do. The final thing that I wanted to kind of talk about in regards to this set, and before I show you what um, feature the case has, is that um, traditionally in the past, when I have been working with knitting needles, circular knitting needles, I have had problems in the past with um, the plastic product that they used for these um, circulars. Um, some of them have been very tight and very stiff and it constantly curled and it made working with my work, <laughs> working with my project difficult. But then I've also used um, chai, chai Gu knitting needles and the Addy knitting needles. And their circulars are wonderful, very high quality. And this piece on them is not as stiff. But I will say the cost of those are much higher than the Knitter's Pride. And what I'm going to say is that even though when I first pulled this out, as you saw when I was holding them, over here, I'll pull them out again for you to see. They are firmly coiled. Do you see that? And after using this one now for well, on and off for three days, because school's out now, I can, uh, this has been pre-recorded in the summertime, as you can tell from my freckles. Um, it has loosened a great deal and it has not been tightly coiled. So as you use these, um, the, the tightness in this, this plastic cording has relaxed and it has become much manageable. I'm not like trying to crochet with this all twisted up. Overall, I'm really loving the set. Um, the one thing that has been personally a little difficult for me is if you watch my channel before, you know that I hold like a pencil when I crochet. And so typically I do like the hooks that have a really firm um, handle on them. And the Tunisian crochet, the way that it works when you're building up all those loops, here, I'll do a couple while I'm chatting with you so you can see. While I'm building up all these loops, you need to have the length of your crochet hook. So you cannot, you cannot have a big foam handle. Look at that, my kids are upstairs screaming their little heads off right now because they don't realize we're downstairs. And momentarily, I'm pretty sure Maddie's gonna come bursting in. So anyway, what you do is you build up the loops on here. And if you can see this project, I'm gonna have, when I'm all the way down the road, I'm gonna have 41, 41 loops on this. It doesn't go all the way. The reason I chose the shortest one is because once I have them on, it goes only to here. But that's why it's kind of been tough for me, friends. The reason is because I do like to hold it like a pencil and I have to have one of these thin hooks. I cannot have um, the big handle because I need to have that space for the loops to build up. Do you see that? And so you need to have, your whole hook has to be the size. So that's not necessarily a knock on Knitter's Pride. It's just the thing about Tunisian. I just gotta get over it. And so once I get a little bit further down on the work, it's not as bad. I can hold it from the top like this and work and my, my loops build up, but I mean, it is, it's hard for us pencil holders. If you're someone that, you know, holds like a knife, it's not gonna be that big of a deal for you. You should be fine. So all in all, this set was very nice. Now, this is a deal, you guys, it's kind of expensive. Um, oh, I was gonna show you one more feature before I talk about how expensive it is. Um, let's go over here. I gotta move all this stuff so I don't drop it on the floor. One of the features of this set is that, I'll show you in this picture, is you can prop it up like this and you can use it to hold your patterns. So what you do, let's snap this shut over here, 
is if you turn it around like this, okay, and then you take this leather strap and you put it around that toggle, and then you take this leather strap and you put it around this toggle, then you can take your pattern and put it, I should show you, you take this bar off and you put it right here and it will hold your pattern for you. Now I just flipped it, I'm sorry. And it will hold your pattern up for you. So you could essentially be crocheting, have your pattern propped up in front of you, staring right at it. Which is kind of nice because you know what I was doing? I wish you could see this better, but I'll show you. I'll show you with my pattern. So when I, if I am not very careful and if I'm not paying attention, I sometimes have this problem where I'll like, if a pattern is like a five row repeat or whatever, how many repeats, sometimes I won't pay attention to where I am in the pattern. And so I use these like little tabs from Post-It, one side sticky, and when you lay it on the pattern, it highlights it. And so as I finish each row repeat, I just put that little doohickey there so you can, so I can glance up and see what row I'm on. Now, working on the couch, this doesn't work, but if you're working at your desk, you can have it propped up like that and then you can pay attention where you are. So that is this, <laughs> this set. I mean, the price though, y'all, that was what it was expensive. Now, it was $92 on Amazon. Um, Amazon will occasionally, for whatever reason, put a random item on clearance. I don't know if it's just that's, that's just what they do or if they have, I mean, I'm pretty sure Amazon has independent distributors selling through them. I don't know, maybe they buy it ahead of time. But whatever it was, I got, I mean, it wasn't super big of a deal. I got it for $88.99, regular price $92. I do believe that Vicki Howell had um, Knitter's Pride make a set in honor of her that has aqua instead of brown, or they call these ginger, but to me it's just brown, um, that did have brown, or it has aqua um, hooks. And that on her website, if you go to Vicki Howell's personal website, there's a link for a shop. She sells it for $127. I was very tempted to purchase it because the aqua is stunning. But then I was like, you know what, Summer, you don't need to be so fancy. And I'm glad that I did go and buy it because I really do, the, the Vicki Howell's project that month was this Tunisian project. And I'm really loving how it looks. And one of the things that I want to do now, um, after I finish this project, which I'm like 90% done, um, I thought it'd be really awesome to do a Tunisian baby blanket where I'm using two strands, two different mandala cakes. Wow, isn't that exciting? So um, I want to use the really long cords and the extenders that they provide for you. And I'm gonna crochet with two different uh, mandala cakes. And when you do Tunisian, remember, you load up your loops for row one, you turn around, you pull it through, you unload those loops, then you switch to the new color. And so it's gonna be like those colors woven in and out of each other. It's gonna be beautiful, you guys. So I, I really am happy that I bought this. Now I'm sure there's multiple other Tunisian sets um, online. And if you are only gonna do a little Tunisian here and there, I don't recommend buying the whole set. You can go to Joann's, you can go to Knitter's Pride, and you can buy yourself like what it is here. This is a J Tunisian hook. Also, they do have these kind of Tunisian hooks that are just really long. You can buy one of these. The only reason you would want to buy one of these is if you feel like you want to do a lot of scarves or hats or maybe blankets and you really need these long connector chains. And the nice thing about it is that you can, 
you can use the 24 inch or the 40 inch or whatever with the different size hooks versus buying all those different hooks. I mean, essentially you would have the H with the 24 inch, with the 32 inch and with the 60, that's three hooks for the size H. That's why they came up with this idea. Now I'm waving this hook around in the air. Okay, so that that's kind of loosely my review on this product. Those are all the pieces that come with it. And, um, you know, so far I've been really happy with it and I like the case. I like the product and um, I got really lucky, lucky, blessed, whatever you want to say, where one of my students, her mom gave me when they, at the end of the year, gave me a $50 gift Visa gift card. So I just put that towards the purchase. I loaded it up on my Amazon account. I thought I would quick put it together so you could see what it looks like when you get it in the mail. So, I mean, half of this was a gift from one of my second graders, right? So this is a really cute case and this comes on it like this when you get it in the mail. I'm not gonna be able to get it back on like this. Okay, and it keeps your whole Tunisian set all in here. My extenders are in here, my cords are in here, my keys are in here, my end caps are in here, all the hooks and a pen. All right, so I will put a link in the description below to this set off of Amazon. Now, I also will put a few links below of other Tunisian sets they have in case you don't want to do the Knitter's Pride. Um, also, I would just like to say that I'm not being sponsored by Knitter's Pride. I paid for this with my own money. This isn't necessarily a commercial for Knitter's Pride. I just personally know that before I go and make a purchase, I like to look it up, especially if it's gonna be $92. Um, and so this is not a paid advertisement. I, Knitter's Pride didn't give me any treats for making this video. I just bought these on my own with my gift card. <laughs> And I just wanted to tell you about it so that if you were interested or you thought you wanted this kind of a set, um, if you care what I think about it, I just told you. All right. So thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking them and subscribing and sharing them with other people. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.